publish your analysis to a standalone server, you need to have two preparations. The first one is you need to have an administrator connection to your ArcGIS server. Here, I already have one. The second is you need to run your analysis once so you have a successful history item. Once you have these two things ready, you can share your analysis to your standalone ArcGIS server. To share, right-click your administrator connection, go to Publish, click Geoprocessing Service. Here you see the pop-up asking you for a history item to be shared with. Now let's click the first one. You see the Publish Geoprocessing Service pane is opened automatically. And this pane is very familiar if you publish a web tool to your ArcGIS Enterprise. The only difference would be here in the location. There, will, there is no ArcGIS portal location because we are sharing to a standalone ArcGIS server. So there is only server connection and server location here. Also, this is the folder that resides on your ArcGIS server. If you want to go to the Configuration tab and the Content tab, even for the parameter properties, they are the exact same if you published your web to, to your ArcGIS Enterprise. Here, once I have configured everything, I can click Publish to publish it to my standalone ArcGIS server. Once it's published, we can either open this hyperlink in a new web browser, and it will direct you to the REST endpoint of this geoprocessing service. Also, you can go back to the catalog pane, expand that server connection, and give it a refresh. And you can see your uh, new standalone tool here, published as a geoprocessing service. So to conclude in this video, uh, I do not talk too much about the settings when you publish your geoprocessing service, including these parameter settings and the configuration settings. This information can be found at the other video that how to share your analysis to ArcGIS Enterprise. Be sure to check out that video. Thank you. Thank you.